Last night, um, I went down to the Palladium for a show in uh, Worcester, which is about an hour drive. For me, it was less than an hour drive. <clears throat> um, I'm a little low on funds just because, you know, I've gone through a lot in the past few days. And, but I decided, you know what, it's the end of the year. I'm going to do this. <clears throat> so I went and met some people down at the show and uh, met, met another brother there, and that was cool. And um, I, I knew, like, the whole time I wanted to go to Arby's since I was down there because there's no Arby's around Lowell. And, um, but I didn't go anywhere before I went to the show. I just uh, I went there and I waited because it was like Arby's is like three miles from the, uh, from the building. So I just decided, no, I'll just wait here and I'll just go through this. And I didn't go through the whole show. I, you know, we, we saw a couple bands and then we saw the band that we came there for, which is actually a Christian band in the midst of uh, the rest of them weren't Christian. So I believe that we served also as a light in the darkness. And uh, so when it was done, when that when when our when the set that we went to see was done, I just decided that I was bored and, and you know it was time to go. And um, I said, okay, I'm gonna go to Arby's now. <laughs> so with the few dollars that I had left over, um, I went across town, found the Arby's. Now I kept thinking before, like, oh, I want to make sure I go to the Arby's before I go to the show, but something you know just kept me like, mm, nah, just wait until afterward. You know that way you don't miss anything and you don't get lost or anything. So I went, and guess what? There's a I, I, the second I pulled into the parking lot, there was a guy who uh, had his his car propped up on the little uh, car jack, and you know he's struggling to get his wheels off. Obviously, he you know ran into a flat. So I thought, wow, opportune moment. So I got out and said, hey man, you all set? Can you use some help? He goes, oh, I think I got it. And he was using like a little like just the stuff that comes with a spare tire rack. So I said, nope, that's not going to be good enough. So I pulled a couple of pieces of equipment out of my truck and I went in there and started doing it like he was a race car driver on a pit stop. Um, you know, he's like, wow, man, this is, you know, thanks a lot. And I was like, no, no problem. This is what I do. And I said, I, I don't usually do it in this area because I'm never in this area. I'm more in the Boston area, but this is my pleasure. So I did that. Um, it, 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 it probably took three or four minutes and uh, I rotated his tires while I was at it to put his spare tire on the rear. And um, so I was putting my stuff back up and he said, hey man, I appreciate it. And he tried to give me some money. And I said, no, nope, don't, you know, don't, don't worry about your money, man. It's, it's my pleasure. It's what I like. I said, I do this so that people can hear the name Jesus. So I just, you know, I want you to hear that name. I was like, because I didn't do this work. He did the work. He was calm and he was polite and he was patient and listening like could tell it was kind of bouncing off of his head no problem I mean I'm used to that at least this guy he didn't shrug me off or anything you know he listened politely I said but you, you need to know that I said you know Jesus is the one who loves you you know he he he, he obviously I was like think about the situation here you are you know broken down in this parking lot and I just show up with you know with power mechanic tools I was like does that happen no it doesn't happen so really, you know, think about that, you know, think about that while you're at it. So, you know, he was on his way and, you know, bid him God bless. And I just, you know, repeated Jesus' name. And I said, John 3.3 3 to him. I was like, look up John 3.3. 3. And then we were on our way. Go inside, you know, the guy's like, hey, wow, you know, that was some neat equipment. Was that yours? And, you know, so I was like, yeah, that's mine, you know. And so they asked me a couple of questions inside. But the main part of the testimony is, uh, you know, how I just... I just you know, ran, ran into this guy who was broken down in the Arby's parking lot and I had a, a, a strong desire to go to Arby's the whole time. Um, there's always opportunity. There's always opportunity, uh, opportunity to, saw, to, to you know, work for the Lord, to minister the Lord's work, uh, to be led by the Lord. It says, be ready in and out of season. That means be ready even when you don't feel like it or when you're not thinking about it. Be ready. The Lord works. He, he he'll use you if you if you if you if you season your heart. He'll he'll use you no matter what your situation is. God bless you.